110. E waste scenario in India. The total e waste in India has been estimated to be 1,46,180 tons per year. As we can see here that this is not an exact amount, it is just an approximation. Processing is dominated by unmonitored informal sector, uninformed consumers, multiple stakeholders from different fields like producers, consumers, refurbishers, dealers, recyclers, dismantlers, collection center, etc. As we can see from this graph that the e-waste which is coming from our country which is India is not decreasing anyhow. It is increasing year by year and it is almost exponential. It is an exponential curve which is showing that it is increasing with a good factor. Classification of e-waste. First, telecommunication waste. Second, electrical waste. Third is electronic waste. And fourth is cable waste. There are many harmful materials used in consumer electronics including lead, cadmium, mercury and plastics. As we, we can see that e-waste contains several different substances as we can see from this graph that there are multiple substitutes and chemicals many of which are toxic and are likely to create adverse impact on environment and health if not handled properly. Moving ahead with the, ahead with the presentation, this is Manupriya Rolamatu 0 and 0 IPC 60. Okay, coming to the management part of e-waste, that is how we manage e-waste and what is the role of government in its management. We have various procedures for the management of e-waste. We have landfilling, which is the most widely used method for the disposal of e-waste e nowadays. In landfilling, we made some trenches, we bury the waste material in it and then cover it with soil. Modern techniques with secure landfill are provided with some facilities like impervious line, liner, which is made up of plastic or clay, leachate collection basin that collects and transfers the leachate to wastewater treatment plants. Next, we have incineration. It is a controlled and complete combustion process in which the waste material is burned in incinerators at a very high temperature. Advantage of incineration is that we can reduce the volume of e-waste and utilize the energy content of combustible, combustible materials. We have incineration. It is a complete and controlled combustion process in which we burn the e-waste uh, in incinerators at a very high temperature. Advantage of incineration is that the, we can reduce the total volume of e-waste and utilize the energy content of the combustible materials. And we can also remove iron from the slags for recycling. By incineration, some environmentally hazardous organic substances are converted into less hazardous compounds. The disadvantage of incineration is that it emits uh, a large amount of gases which can add to air. Next, we have recycling. Recycling involves dismantling, that is removal of different parts of e-waste, which contains the dangerous substances like PCB, LG, and separation of plastic removal of CRT, segregation of ferrous and non-ferrous metals, and printed circuit boards. Monitors, CRTs, keyboards, laptops, modems, telephones, compact discs, everything can be recycled. E-waste recycling is an emerging and evolving industry and perhaps therefore its hazards appear to have been overlooked so far. In recycling, the workers are posed to hazardous conditions. For example, the hazard associated with the Disassembly stage is the possibility of accidental releases and spillages. For example, mercury found within light sources as well as switches could be released into the air upon breakage of the shell. CRTs present risk of implosion due to vacuum inside the tubes and inhalation hazard due to phosphor coating. Hi, I am K. Ratnadi. My rule number is IPG 2010-47. We will continue our discussion with the corporate responsibility and the individual responsibility of electronic waste management. So, continuing with the discussion of corporate responsibility, some of our observations are, in a short survey we found that there is no awareness of e-waste recycling, especially about recycle centers to the people. So, these manufacturing companies are investing millions to promote their electronic products, but not a penny in promotion of e-waste recycling. Also, 
there is no cost effective recycling solutions available especially in developing nations companies are investing billions and billions in research and development to produce new products but not in innovation of new efficient recycling technologies toxic from these e waste has a long term effect so indirectly we and the companies are not only producing today's electronic products but also the toxic substances for the future generations also the products uh, producers should design their products to be recycle friendly that is while extracting its components it should be easy during the recycle phase its components are subcomponents these are the major drawbacks of today's recycling uh, pro because the problems are we cannot extract its components uh, that efficiently also corporate should take the minimum responsibility in innovating new technologies of recycling and creating awareness among people because these are the people generating the new products and we are the people consuming them we should we along with the corporate should take the responsibility of this coming to individual responsibility a research article says that people just don't like to recycle the cell phones yeah we observe generally that uh, unused cell phones are just thrown away in houses somewhere people just don't like to recycle their cell phones it's also 75% of the cell phones are stockpiled in drawers e waste is only 2% of the trash but accounts to 70% of all toxic waste so of all we need to act responsible to protect our future generations Hi, my name is Rajesh Kumar, roll number IPD 2010079. Now I will be concluding our whole report. Conclusion: Proposed e-waste solution: Create incentives to recycle large quantities and return. Individual taxpayer receives some amount credit per year for recycling one or more units of e-waste. That will promote recycling amongst the citizens and businesses. We can also educate the industries about recycling and regenerating option. Reevaluate program in a few years. Make it illegal to throw away e-waste if adequate recycling infrastructure is available to public. Nothing in legislation mandates recycling center creation. There must be a law that abides the creation of recycling center in every city. Reuse incentives must be given to the users. Safe disposal channels for the institutes of Gwalior. During the span of four or five years, student of different institutes buy a lot of electronic items. A new product is mostly a replacement of an old one. That old product most of the time is not well disposed. For example, the batteries, mouse, keyboard, mobile, all these products are often thrown away when they can be recycled. For this purpose, it's necessary to have an administrative department in every institute that looks after the e-waste management. No e-waste should go unnoticed and unattended. Although we keep m most of the e-waste with ourselves during our college life, but once we go out of the college, we throw it without taking care of the toxics it generates. So we must have some th some administrative body that look after that e-waste. Proper disposal bins for e-waste must be there in every institute. Many institutes like Triple IIT Hyderabad, IIT Bombay, and IIT Kanpur have special department for e-waste disposal. So it would be better if all the institutes look after the same. What can you do? Keep your old electronics longer instead of replacing them. If discarding old electronics, be sure to recycle them at trusted recycling center. Purchase efficient electronics that do not contain hazardous materials such as mercury and lead. Donate electronics for reuse extends the lives of valuable products and keeps them out of the waste management system for a longer time. But take care that the electronic that you donate must be in working condition. That's your responsibility. Take care of the e-waste. references these are some of the online and offline references that we have referred to for doing our project thank you